let's look at the audit procedures that can be performed by the auditor during the inventory count or when he or she is attending the inventory count. So the first one is uh, observe whether the client and staff are following the instructions to ensure that the count is complete and then accurate. The auditor has to make sure that the instructions put in place are being followed properly by the counting staff. Then secondly, is a perform test counts. Test count, it's like uh, you get something and then you count it again. So perform test counts, concentrating on high value items to ensure that uh, the internal controls that were put in place are actually working properly. Then another one is a select a sample of inventory, concentrating on high value items from the inventory sheets and then uh, physically inspect to verify existence. Remember we said when we are verifying existence or occurrence of something, we go backwards. So you select inventory that is on the inventory sheets and then you trace it to see if it is actually there in the store. That is to verify existence. Then um, another procedure is uh, physically inspect a sample of inventory items and trace them to inventory sheets to verify completeness. So you can select a sample here, select, select a sample of inventory from the store and then inspect it to see if it was actually recorded on the inventory sheets. So this is to verify completeness. So for completeness, we go forward. We start from the store, then we go to the inventory sheets. Then for existence, we start from the inventory sheets, then we go to the store. That's how it works. Another procedure is um, ensure that procedures for identifying damaged, obsolete, and slow-moving inventory are operating properly and then also obtain information about the inventory's condition like the age, the usage, and in the case of work in progress, you obtain information about its stage of completion to ensure that it is later valued appropriately. The procedures that will help the entity to identify the goods that are damaged, those that are moving slowly, and those that are getting outdated and make sure that they are working properly. Another procedure is uh, confirm that inventory held on behalf of third parties is separately identified and accounted for so that inventory is not overstated. Like the inventory that does not belong to an organization is put aside. Yeah, so that inventory is not overstated. Another procedure is uh, obtain the procedures for movement of inventory during the count to confirm that all movements have been uh, seized. Like make sure that there is no inventory moving in, like they're not purchasing and there is no inventory moving out. And in case they purchase inventory, make sure that that inventory that is purchased is separated from this inventory that has been existing. Then another procedure is obtain copies of inventory sheets for follow-up testing to determine whether the entity's final inventory records accurately reflect actual inventory count results. So you can look at the inventory sheets that record all the inventory that has been counted. Yeah, so that you can be able to make sure that the results are accurate. Then another procedure is that identify and make a note of the last goods received notes and goods delivered notes before the count date in order to perform cutoff procedures later. Like identify those goods received notes and goods delivered notes that were that were made before the count date in order for you to make sure that they are recorded in the correct period. Then another one is a conclude whether the count has been properly carried out 
and it is sufficiently reliable as a basis for determining existency and then valuation of inventory that is appearing in the financial statements. So after making sure of all the above, you conclude whether the inventory has been properly carried out or not. Then lastly, if the results of the test counts are not satisfactory in case the audit accounts inventory on their own and then they are not satisfied, the auditors may request the inventory to be recounted. Yeah, so those are the audit procedures that should be performed during the attendance of the inventory count.